Hi, I'm Nate, and you're watching Photo Learningism. I wanted to get into photo management, kind of a short departure from what I normally do, which is talking about photo alteration. But nonetheless, just as important, let's get into it. Okay, if this is your first time joining in Photo Learningism, thank you so much for coming to join in the fun. Really what we focus on here are surfacing uh, usually open source or cheap tools to help you accomplish your art technology goals. Uh, really that spans anywhere from digital drawing, digital painting, photography. I really wanted to unify us under that umbrella of art and uh, how to help you find the tools to get it done without breaking the bank along the way. Um, especially if you're starting out and you're looking for solutions that are easy and uh, free. <laughs> Who can uh, complain with free? Um, that's what, what I'm trying to establish here and to build a community of learning that you can join and plug into, get connected and share your experience and make us all stronger together. So do take a moment and subscribe and uh, leave comments as we go through this. I just wanted to get that out of the way so we can get to the good stuff here. So thanks for joining in here. All right, so Digicam. This actually came from um, from healthy discussion in the comments of other videos, and I wanted to check this out and see what it was all about. And this is an amazing photo management tool. Uh, really, this does so much, it's hard to pick a place to start. <laughs> but I'll cover the parts that I think could be the most useful to a wider audience, and I encourage you, go check this out. I'll put a download link in the description below. Um, because there's just so much to this, but I wanted to highlight uh, the easy interface parts of this. Uh, your starting point is in the albums, and this can be sorted a variety of different ways. Uh, really, there's there's a, uh, just so many ways you can sort this out. It starts by uh, alphabetical, but I'm sorting right now by uh, last modify, which is how I like to look at things because I remember by what I did last, <laughs> working my way back through history, not necessarily alphabetically. Uh, so that's what works for me. You can enable a couple other attributes uh, to see in that. I have counts that are coming on. Those may change as we're watching this, uh, mostly because I'm running uh, an index right now to pick up all the stuff. And I have a lot of pictures that I've just, um, this is the first time the tool has really had the opportunity to, to crawl through all that. So. Um, that's also really cool so I can get a rough idea of how many images I have of what and where. Um, just to give you an idea of where that goes. We're looking at kind of the all images breakdown from the top, which that just goes on for thousands of images. So I won't put you through that. But uh, you can kind of see some of the uh, other attributes I flipped on for the item uh, view. And uh, if we go into view, I'll just kind of quickly show that. You do have your sort options here, how you can do that. Uh, how you can sort the items, that's the right hand side of it. And then you can change the direction of how those things are done. And um, there's ways to flip on, uh, again, what you see in those. So you can get the, the bits of information that matter to you, kind of the uh, the XF or the, the metadata behind, which is really, really helpful to see in this kind of view. Um, really, this is, I, I was coming into this because I've done all my photo management just straight up in Windows Explorer. And I was looking for those, what's really gonna make me want to use this versus that. And already I'm seeing the value of this because I don't have to hover over every image or look at details view and then flip back into uh, the thumbnails view to get what I want out of this. You get it all in the same view. So already there's some value I'm, I'm finding for myself out of this. So the other really powerful things I wanted to talk about here are actually the search capabilities. And again, this just, there's so much built into this. I encourage you to download and check this out uh, because there's just so many choices. Um, I'll caution you that to get the most out of them, you do have to get through the indexing part of it. And that does take time depending on how old your system is and how much data, um, but well worth it. Coming in from the top here, we have the timeline search feature, which if you have a rough idea of when you shot that image, you can search it here and the results always pop on the right hand side. Um, but this is a great way to begin where, okay, I had an idea of where it was and you can break this down a couple different ways as well. But you can search just by clicking on the range of time and it'll surface that content and you can begin finding and working with those pictures and right clicking on it, you can really just launch it out and go anywhere from there. Um, but it's a great way to surface your content within wherever you keep your pictures. 
Next one up is just the general search and that works like you'd expect. You do a keyword search <laughs> um, and it'll find related things based on that. Um, it gets more and more powerful the more you apply to an image. It supports tagging in this software, ratings and other things. So you can really build that up depending on how much work you're willing to do to enhance the, the metadata behind the images. But again, even just searching by name, that's really powerful. Again, you could do that in Windows Explorer, but this seems to work a lot more efficiently after it's done its crawl and indexing process. So again, you're getting a lot of power and response and efficiency out of that. Similarity is a very interesting feature and I got very excited. It took me a little bit to figure this out, how to use it, but really what this is is that you take an image and you can throw it in there. You literally drag it on top of here from Explorer and you're telling the software, find something that that is similar to this and you can set the similarity range uh, to find images that are like that. And that's really cool because it, this is far beyond anything you're gonna get out of the box for Windows, okay? And even Google is still really kind of working on how to you know, get this to work right. So I haven't had so much time to play with this, but just to see it work even on a basic scale here where you have a group shot of people and it found another group shot here. It seems like on at least a low level, it, it works. And that's a very powerful feature to have at your disposal for photo management. If you know kind of what you're looking like and you have sort of a similar image to go on, you can crawl all this stuff. You can search it through just with an image. That's amazing. That is such a cool feature. Um, that just kind of blows me away that we that you have this in free software, open source. It's amazing. The other two things here that help you uh, get through this, there is a mapping search, which I haven't played so much with because I don't track my geo data. I like to turn that off wherever I can because uh, you can call me a conspiracy theorist, but just I don't want the information of where I'm going to be uh, going out to the internet. So if that is not of concern to you, then by all means, check it out and explore it again. This is a feature that is available to you and um, have fun there. This one, again, it's going to require some time. I'm still finishing up the other scan. As you'll see, um, actually, you can't see it. It's off the screen. <laughs> it's at 90% uh, crawling the other stuff. Um, but you can do a scan for faces, which is, again, another wow, mind-bending thing that uh, you could do a search through people again. Uh, if, if I have a, a similar image with a person, that's another metric I can use to surface previous images if I'm having trouble getting through thousands and thousands of different files. This is just so incredible. Even with just the search capabilities alone, I haven't even touched on anything else yet. <laughs> These are amazing. Go check out this tool, seriously. Y you're missing out by not leveraging this tool. Go check out Digicam. Uh, the tool, photo management, I'll put again a link in the description below. Take a dig through all the different odds and areas. It can export into slideshows and create things for you. It does have some basic imaging, uh, image editing capabilities. Uh, it supports DLNA, which I know nobody talks about that anymore, but that was a sharing standard protocol uh, where you could wirelessly pass, or not even wirelessly, it's just a networking protocol where you could pass things, it's typically used wirelessly, um, between equipment and technologies. Um, they use that a lot with video streaming. You can do that with just image sharing. Uh, it's built into the software. Um, so that's very intriguing to see that that's, that's still around. Uh, exporting, it does support a lot of different uh, storage services here that you can tap into right out of the software. Um, so it's just kind of good to see a nice long list of things and uh, options available to you. Uh, the last thing I'll just mention, I haven't played with it so much, is this Batch Queue Manager. And that looks like um, a quick dig through if you wanted to bulk rename things. It has some, uh, some syntactual things in for that. I know there's other good tools out there, but this covers it. You can get a one-stop shop to get all these photo management things done. So, um, again, this just seems like such an incredible compilation of things. And again, it's open source. It's free. It's, it's available for you right now and you can start getting the power out of this and getting more efficiency into your art explorations, okay? So go check it out. Thank you, Digicam team, for supporting this. I am not getting anything from the Digicam team. I just think this is such a fantastic product, and I wanted to, to bring this out for all of you and um, 
bring that up for your benefit. So again, I'm Nate. This is Photolingism. Do take a moment and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if this was helpful. Leave a comment so we can discuss this using family-friendly language because I want this to be available for everyone and appropriate for everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you at the next video.